to show you how to remove a dent using some basic household tools. In this case we're going to be using a claw hammer, a punch, a screwdriver, and a trailer hitch. The first thing I'm going to do is try to straighten this body line right here. I think it'll relieve some tension in this dent. I have one dent here, here, and here. And by straightening this out first, it will relieve some tension and then I can bump these out. So this is a close-up of that body line and we're just going to try to work this body line out this way from the back side. Now this uh, trailer hitch ball is very heavy so what I'm going to try is is putting it behind there as a dolly or a backing device and pushing very hard on the lowest point and then hitting on these higher points on the outside and hopefully that will push this out. So I'm going to be putting some pretty heavy duty pressure on that backside with this and pounding with the hammer. Now I'm going to make sure I have it right on the, the, the point. I'm just going to keep pushing and it's coming out and I just got to keep working. And now I have a little bit left so I'm going to try to get back there with this punch right here and hit on that body line. Okay, now I have that body line out. It is just a little bit low right in here, but we're going to worry about that a little bit later and try to take these dents out now. So the worst one is right here, so I'm going to try to put some pressure on the back side of that and then hit on these high spots.
Okay, that's good for that. Now we're going to work on this one. And I'm pressing, I'm knocking it out a little bit with this, pressing on it and hitting the high spots. And I'm just working slow, I'm not really whacking it, to, I don't want to stretch the metal, but I, I want to force that out and then knock the high spots down. And now I'm going to come back here and try to get more of that body line. At this point, the dent is very close to being bumped as much as I like to have it bumped before I fill it. But we're going to work it a little bit more. There's a few little low spots in here. The body line is pretty straight. This is straight. All the rest of this is straight. Just needs to be worked a little bit and ground and filled.
And what I'm doing right now is, is sort of a hammer off dolly. Dolly is on the low spot, hammer is hitting on the high spot. So I find the low spots and I push on them and I hit the high spots. And I'm going to call that good. I don't want to work the metal too much and then end up stretching it and then having an oil canning situation. So the next step is to grind this and fill it. Before grinding and filling this dent, we want to just check it real quick for any extreme highs or lows. And I like to use a straight edge and just check it out real quick, make sure I'm not missing any highs or extreme lows. And that looks pretty good to me. And in sticking with the idea of using basic tools that you find around the house, I'm just going to sand this down with a drill motor and a grinding pad or disc that you can get at a local hardware. After grinding it down to bare metal, you're now ready for the filler. So I'm going to mix up some body filler and I'll be right back. After getting it down to bare metal, it's time to fill it. And this is what it should look like, about that much hardener for your filler. So we're just going to mix that up. And I stir it in a little bit. People don't like that because they say it adds air bubble, bubbles, but then I, I just go about uh, mixing it like this and that takes care of the air bubbles. So then you just go around, collect it again. And I'm using a plastic spreader. Usually I use metal spreaders, but plastic ones are readily available at the hardware, Walmart, so on. And a piece of cardboard to mix it on. Cardboard's a little small here, but we'll do it. So we're just going to keep keep mixing it like that. And like I said, the cardboard is a little little bit small, but we'll gather it up. And that should do it there. So then we're just going to spread a coat on there. Try to get it on there as even as possible. And I try to spread it on there a little bit thick so that we have something to work with. And as I spread it, it's going to thin out. And we're probably going to need another, you know, another coat, but this will get us pretty close. I'm probably playing with it a little too much, but we'll try to get it as much as we can with one, one coating.
And I think that should do it. When this hardens, I'll be back. Before your filler completely hardens, a cheese grater blade can be used to remove excess filler or bondo. And these are just Stanley half round cheese grater blades. You can get them at the hardware and I like to use them without the handle. The way you use a cheese grater is to hold it on an angle and then just lightly drag it across the filler. So I'm going to start on these edges and just lightly drag it across those edges where I uh, spread the filler. So we're just going to drag it all the way across. We're just taking off a little bit. Now if your filler is too soft, it'll get clogged in the cheese grater. But we're just going to take off the excess. And when you get to a point where you think it's good enough, just stop. Right now I'm only concentrating on this flat area. I'm not worried about this at all. I'm just going to concentrate on this. And I can really see my highs and lows right now at this point. And I like it when they disappear, the low spots. There's a little low side there. That one's going to go away. All of these are going to go away. to go in different directions. This way, this way, this way, all the way. Sometimes long strokes can really cut. Cut nice and straight and cut through. And I think that's good for now. We're going to leave that. I'm going to let this harden a little bit and then come back with a block with some 36 grit on it. When you're finished with the cheese grater, the next step is using some 40 grit or 36 grit on a block. Now if you don't have a rubber block like this, you can just use a block of wood. So we're just going to sand this and go at different angles this way, this way, every different angle. And I'm, again, I'm not worried about this yet. And I do have a little low spot here and a little high spot right here. So let's just see what happens. And once again, I'm not worried about this at all until I get this perfect.
Okay, so I do have a little low spot right here, and I do have a high spot right here. So what I'm going to do is just uh, knock that down a little bit with the hammer or uh, you know, a Phillips screwdriver, knock that down. Then I'm going to fill in my low spots right here, and this will be low, and I'll fill that in, and I'll be right back. So I knocked down the high spot and I filled in the low spot and ordinarily you'd use a body hammer to knock down the high spot. But you can also, if you don't have a body hammer, use a punch and a regular hammer to knock that high spot down. So I filled those in and I did have a little uh, spot here that I knocked down and filled in. And I'm still going to be using the 36 grit or 40 grit. So I'm just going to sand this a few times very lightly. And that's good for that section right there. I'm going to get some masking tape and I'm going to show you how to use how to use masking tape along this body line to get that perfect. At this point we can start thinking about this body line. And the way I do body lines is again I make sure that I concentrate on one surface at a time. So this surface I concentrated on and I made sure that it was perfect. Now I come down here and worry about this. So we're just going to take a piece of masking tape and we're pu I'm pulling pretty tight and I'm just going to come right around with it and I think that looks pretty good. And just a quick measurement here with my finger. And that's going to be good enough. So now, all I have to do is sand up to that tape, pull the tape, and I should be good. So first, I might want to use a cheese grater. And maybe I'll get a little bit of that off. I better stop. So we're just going to take this real lightly and concentrate on not hit, hitting that tape. I'm going to call that good. Um, we're going to finish this up with 
uh, 80 grit, and then prime it. So let me, uh, let me just sand these edges. I'll throw a coat of primer on, and you'll see what the finished product looks like. This is the finished panel after two coats of Spray Bomb Primer, just to show you what it looks like. You could finish this up by sanding it with 220 and painting it with something like Duplicolor or something that matches your vehicle. In review, we fixed this uh, dent from the back side using some basic tools that you could find around your house. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to remove a dent with some basic tools. And if you did, and you would like to see my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.